and just want to use up all this, then I'll be able to pick up a lot more of this cobblestone. I don't think I'll be able to pick up everything, but over time it should be fine. Right, more cobblestone. I might sell like nine stacks of cobblestone just for like a diamond or something. You know what? I'm gonna do something else for now. Let's take down this tree. Alright. Oh. 
right? Yeah, I think it's a good time to do what I was going to. Which, I'm going to expand my storage, and I will never organize it. But, that's just how it is. How much is that? And the word that come from? It's daytime. My goodness. Why is okay, why are there more creepers? Oh my why there are so many creepers here. Why? Oh, I picked up a sword. 
give itself a disadvantage. This is so annoying. Literally just guarding all my items. And it won't despawn either. Right now it'll probably despawn now that it's collecting my items. Because that's just how the game works. Get everybody's disadvantage. It's just how Minecraft works. It's really dumb that it's spawning. It literally guards my loot, steals all my items, and refuses to go away. Wait, this is more stuff than I had. What? Where'd all this extra stuff come from? Oh, I got everything. Yep. Make two posts on Reddit, really? At the same time? That doesn't feel right.
I'm just quickly putting in the chat. So I can't show the screen because it's Discord and all that. All right. I'm going to finish removing it then. I'm sending it in the chat still. It's just closed now. In here? What? Oh, they moved. Well, I guess I, I could do this. Okay, so these the person on the guy saw a message from the person and they actually moved. So I they said I could have these, which would be incredibly annoying, but sure I guess I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna have to really work on this. Two up here. So I wanna move them all up here. 
Because if I can get villagers, I am set. Like, forever. We don't really have to worry about beds, obviously. It's like, why would I? One of them as high as possible. Because extra height will make it a lot easier. No, I might actually just let them go. I mean, why not? Perfect. We've got one. This is going to be a very long trip. I'm going to try to keep as much height as possible. Oh, uh, I pressed shift accidentally. Let's go. Speed. It's literally the same speed. I love it. Alright. So I'm going to bring this to my home base as neatly as possible. It's not going to be amazing, but it would be nice to have these guys. I'll probably put them in the back of my farm somewhere. Maybe just across the walls. Like, if I did that, that would be pretty helpful. And I also got those also got those rails just for this. Villagers. Because villagers detect rails as a full block. And they don't travel across... Okay, I don't, I don't want to risk anything. I'm just going to... Okay. There we go. You know what? Let's do it. Okay, hope this works. Ooh, it's tight, but we're doing it. Once we get to the water, we're basically there. And we'll be all good. Nice that they just, like, honestly, I didn't think they would just leave them. Because they're feeling, I mean, I guess they are really hard to move villagers. Probably one of the harder things to move in the game. But, you know, it's still villagers. Like, you can't really go wrong with a villager. Okay, we got to avoid anything underwater, basically. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. Probably like a group of people, but yeah. Alright, we want to get as close as possible. Also, this looks beautiful right here. We'll put him here. I hope that's safe for him. Okay, could you not? Game. You have to be this buggy. Okay, there we go. Well, there was an interim, but I'm not really interested. Uh, I should probably put my bed a little bit further in.
Because if he gets in the bed, he'll be good all night. And I do have spares, so I can move him. Yeah, there's my spares. Okay. Now he's in the bed. We want to move him way back in here. Uh, I would say here. That'll work. So we're going to remove the bed. Then he'll find the new bed in here. Yep, there we go. And then we want to get fence, a fence yet. Yeah, what? Uh, we want to get a fence. No, I said yeah. But there we go. Now we want to fence him in for now. Where? What? Where did he? Did he? What? He just disappeared. What's this? Wait, what? The villager just disappeared. What happened? Wait, let's break all this. He could just be in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Also, we're not using this. <laughs> it is about to break. It is literally like right on breaking. Oh, I know what to do. I'll do what I normally do. We'll do this. And then we'll make a slab. Because they can't understand slabs very well. Uh, that was not what I meant to do. And now we can get through. Grab this. And then we need to go get the second one. Which we should probably do at daytime. All right, well, we now have a villager, one of two anyways, I need to go get the other one. Which I have no clue where another one could be, so that doesn't really help me much. But hey, at least the chunks should have been unloaded. Should have been, I can go with this server. Whoa, what in the world? I just noticed that the list is like half. There's half as many people on now. What happened? To... People just left. Yep, perfect. Oh, wrong button again. No reason I shouldn't have done that. I mean, it was pretty simple. It was just right there. Okay, so we gotta find these villagers, but I did just let them go free. But what in the world is that? Okay, uh, they're probably still near. 
Oh, there's one. Could you just... Perfect. Now we just need to go around. Get to the ocean, and then do the same process. It's gonna be harder because I'm gonna have to make like a table. And... Hey, yeah. I hope you can't. I have to go around. Um, I would prefer. I don't think I can fit through there. Let's just go down the two layers. Hope we can get out. Yes. I mean, this is um, very boring, but eventually this will be so worth it. I'm going to leave two. I only need two. And I just breed them like rapidly. But even in context, that sounds bad. All right, we're going to head over here, and I think I can make this gap. Yep, we're good. Oh, I think he lost his job. Okay, that's all right, I guess. And then from here, we should be able to make it to the water. Nice. All right. Yep. Uh, where are you going? You know what? Actually, get back in the. Oh wait, is he going up? Oh yeah, the barrels. Think barrel. Oh no, loom. The loom. You gotta set him a trap. Perfect. I forgot about the loom entirely. Okay, we're gonna have to put it in here. Oh, you're probably just going to claim that, aren't you? Um. Yep. Okay, we're going to have to do this slowly. Put that there. You shouldn't be able to claim that. Yep, we're good. Okay. 
Oh, we also have this. So I guess we should put this in here too. Alright, we want to throw this over here. And we want to follow him when he goes in so he doesn't escape. Oh, uh, I forgot they can do barrels. That's going to be really annoying. I think I just have to put my barrels at a height though, so it should be not a big problem. Oh, you can reach that one? Okay, there is more. I was gonna say, is that all? Okay, and then we need to grab this one, break it, and then... What? Why does he still have his job? He doesn't even have a thing to get the job from anymore. Because I got rid of it. Yet he kept the job. Weird. How did you get out? What? How? What? What is happening on this server? There's no way for him to get. Oh. I have a plan. Remove job. Re remove the. Why aren't they losing their jobs anymore? Oh, there we go. And then we want to get rid of this as well. So we want him to be over here. Which I need to block off. There we go. Are you kidding me? Why? Why wouldn't it let me place anything? What? Server's just not letting me play anymore. I'm gonna get your job again. It's my ping. Oh yeah, my ping just jumped up again. This server is so broken. Where where did he go? Oh, can't really have that. Perfect. We break this. And we put the beds in here. Because I'm pretty sure they can... Okay, can you stop just getting me stuck on literal air? Do you not see the bed? Where did the other guy go? It just... Oh my, I hate villagers so much. He just ran off. And he's gone. Where? What is, okay, he probably just disappeared again. But I did see him go invisible earlier. Because the server is literally just broken for some reason. This guy has no, okay, he somehow claims every single barrel. No matter what I do. It literally doesn't even matter how I put the barrels. He'll claim one as a job, no matter what. He doesn't want to sleep. Like that being a key feature of what these things do if he could just detect the bed. How blind is he? My goodness. Okay, you know what? Fine. He wants to bug out, I have to fix it. Okay. Literally just won't detect the bed. 
despite it being too, like, just right near him. The other villager ran off and probably died. Because that's what they do best. Could you let me... Oh, my goodness. Guess it's good that it didn't trap me in the boat that time. What is so great about over here? He just loves over there for some reason. I hate dealing with villagers. You're gonna need, like... They removed chests, making things incredibly annoying. Okay. We have to completely avoid the garden. Because then we get stuck on the one pixel ledge. Because game... Because the game... It's just like that. Here we go. You want to find your bed now? And then the other villager's probably going to die because it decided to run off into the wilderness and try to die. I hate villagers. They have the worst AIs out of any mob in the whole game. They just randomly go places. Sometimes they'll go towards a bed at night. Other times they'll just go the opposite direction. It doesn't really matter what you do. Villagers just don't work like any other mob. Actually, you know, I'm gonna have to block this area off because by the time I get back, it'll probably be day. So you're gonna start running wild. And wait, there he is. It doesn't like loading the mob then. Until you're like two centimeters away from them. It's just how the server works. Despite the fact that I have entity distance at 125%. It just doesn't load anything. Okay, you're not going to get two more people to sleep. That's way too difficult. What are you doing? Is he traveling all the way back? To the other why why are these villagers so brainless my goodness he literally wants to instead of traveling to the bed near him he wants to travel all the way to the bed like a, a thousand blocks away it doesn't make sense at all they're just glitchy these mobs don't work how they're intended he kept his job somehow despite being nowhere near anything i just have to wait for the guys to lose the job and it's daytime so every plan is ruined i'm gonna have to like put the farm down here because i can't get them up there Could you just get out of here well we have to leave him here until night because he'll only follow beds because no matter how many barrels I remove, he always gets the barrel job. Literally, barrels are starting to ruin the game. I'm starting to see why they made them so cheap. They're actually more expensive. Because it takes two slabs to make a barrel. They made it all planks. But, like, they're worse than chests. They're almost identical. They carry the same storage. Yeah. But they're still worse. They still manage to be worse. Chests are just that bad. That even when being equal, they are unequal. Okay, we gotta find a way to get him up here. Because he's gonna claim any job I give him. What if I give him this job? Oh, it looks like he wants it. You're not a fisherman. Stop acting like you're one. You know, I'm just going to raise all the barrels. There's literally zero barrels and he still has the job. How does he, he literally just defies all of the game's logic to keep that job. I'm putting them up here.
Okay, let's fill these ones up. Wait, did I really fit everything in like four of these? In the world? Oh, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna absolutely prevent them from ever getting to these barrels. Because when I un unleash him, he's gonna lose, he should lose his job because he doesn't have any way to keep it. How is he keeping the job? He doesn't... Oh, there we go. Finally. And then we put it here. And then we break it. And then we gotta put it all the way back here. Oh, could you let me through? He should be able to find his way. Hello? Let me lift him up. Yep. Can't find his way despite it being right near him. I hate villagers. They are the... Like, they need to make these AIs better. They make the zombie one of the smartest mobs in the whole game, and they make villagers absolutely brainless. Like, how? Could you... Oh my goodness, he's blind! He's literally blind! Are you kidding me? He's literally- I'm gonna have to drag him all the way there. Are you kidding me? How does he not see it when it's like 20 blocks away? I hate villagers so much. They don't- they literally didn't give them an AI. They just threw him into the game. There's no way this is an AI. Okay, we're right here. If he doesn't see it now, there's no hope. So now that they're both here, I can fix up the fence. I guess I should just make it all slabs. I, guess I, I literally, they need to upgrade these AIs. They've been the same the whole game. There's no way that they've ever upgraded them. I don't believe it. I just simply don't. Because they're just as bad as they've always been. Alright, here we go. We need to fix the fence up for each part that I'm replacing. Oh, no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, you know, you, you didn't need to be there. You know, you just could completely ignore the game's logic. Yeah, it's fine. But too bad boats can't go up the one pixel. Boats, if they get on one level, they're stuck there forever. It doesn't even matter what you do. It makes no sense that they can't go up a tiny little pixel. Like, I can understand bigger things, but a pixel. One pixel stops a boat in its place. Literally, make your place boat proof, you just put one block of farmland all around it. And now infinite. Now there's no way for boats to get in. Like... That doesn't even make any sense. Stay in there. It's 
Stop breaking the game game rules. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we can remove everything on top. Then we fill this, and we remove the bottom. Right. Didn't plan on having these guys here, but didn't expect the person to tell me I could just do stuff here. I'm stretching for a bit. All right, we're gonna build the whole floor out of, I guess, just the slabs. We're also gonna remove these. These guys are the breeders, they don't need jobs. I almost used this whole thing up. My goodness. All right. <laughs> Does he really not know where the bed is? It's right here. It didn't place. Is there like another bed somewhere? I don't remember there being another bed. Yeah, there's nothing. I don't even think there's one down here. Yeah, he's literally just going after nothing. Villager AI, like the villager AI, doesn't work well. It, there's no way it wasn't rushed, because look at him. He's dancing around for no reason. Because <laughs> he has his bed, and he just refuses to sleep in for some reason. Why? He literally just is dancing around like there's something wrong. He's got a bed and everything. We're removing it. Why is he cl clinging to that wall? We're gonna put the bed over there.
Are you kidding? What is he doing? I don't understand. I'm just looking and I'm trying to find one thing he could be doing. Now he wants to be in the wall for some reason. <laughs> 